the the history and the architecture yes. is so much so much more deep than that year. Oh, so the venues are the same. The venue that's like a hundred years old. Yes. Well, that might suit your style. Of Oh, it's been fun. I mean, yeah, it's, been, yeah. it's been fun getting in front of people who've not heard our music before, and then yeah. to be endorsed by somebody that um, we're lucky enough to call a friend who, um, who supports what we do. That's a really fun thing, and it started yeah. the conversation with a lot of people um, and introduced them to our music. So. So is it true you guys met in like a writing competition in Tennessee? Yeah, you know, it was it was less of a competition actually. We were both um, full time songwriters with yeah. So it was like the proverbial songwriting Monday through Friday. Okay. And um, and then some producers, music producers, called a gathering together, which in Nashville they call a song camp. Okay. And so um, it, the whole premise is just to bring a lot of different writers who may or may not know each other and see what happens by putting different people in different writers. And um, John Paul was the straw that was drawn for me that first day. So you met each other by her yeah, and straw yes. Yes. <laughs> And we both found out later that both of us tried to cancel even going. So I, really? I don't really know where so it's be. destiny, maybe. Or, hey, uh, something. Something. <laughs> or a cruel joke. <laughs> <laughs> some days. Some days it's not. I think we both really do understand and value how uh, unique it is for yeah. Did you did you know straight away, like when you first started writing together, yeah. was it like, oh? Yeah, it was. It was sort of a, like I think I sat up a little bit straighter in my chair just because it was this strange, organic, by osmosis, just knowing where the other person was going and yeah, um, and an ease to the writing process, unlike anything I'd ever had before. So, but we didn't say anything about it. Oh, really? Kept it to yourself? Oh, yeah. It took a while. Because we're stubborn like that. I think we're cool. <laughs> I think you're cool. Thank you. <laughs> it was the first time something like that ever made sense to me. Just the thought had never crossed my mind to, yeah, to join forces with like anybody me. else. I mean, I, I'm difficult enough to get along with myself alone, so adding two people in and that makes things Is it easier now, though, having someone along with the ride with you? 90% of the time. <laughs> It's, it mostly is, especially for my personality, because I, I don't tend to want to be in the front that often, which really works against you. Have with your guitar. Just, I, <laughs> typically I am, but I've always been a solo performer, yeah. so you have to be that guy. And with this, you know, there's certain times when I step forward, there's yeah. certain times when she does, and it's, it's so much less of a burden to carry. Like, there you go, so Joy. Sure. <laughs> and it's somebody that you completely trust and you, you know, you want them to take it. And you have no issues whatsoever to step it back. There's never, there never has been, and hopefully there will be any sort of competition for, mm -hmm. I want to sing this part. No, I want to sing. It's always, I want you yeah, to sing. You sing. Yeah, no, you sing. Uh, well, it's the only thoughts we have. Oh, you guys, this is sweet. <laughs> just give us five years. I was going to say, spend yeah. some time. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> um, I have a drifter in my back of my car. <laughs> well, part of one. <laughs> that's so, he that's, was really big. That's so wrong. Joy? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to follow that up at all. Um, I have the other half in my trunk. <laughs> uh, we should explain what a drifter is. Oh. Uh, a drifter is someone like... Uh, Gypsy, like a vagabond. wander, vagabond, yeah. someone that has shit, no home. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I think the, the quote was, <laughs> shit, that's <laughs> dark. <laughs> I was once wheelchaired out of the uh, Four Seasons Hotel. Really? After maybe spending some time at the bar. At the bar, so who got the wheelchair? Uh, Hendrix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hendrix Jim got Hendrix the wheelchair. Hendrix got the wheelchair. <laughs> Uh, wow, um, I've got a bunch of those stories, but I don't. A not, maybe, not a wheelchair. Maybe. I never wheelchair.